Hey everybody, Bungie here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. I hope you're enjoying my little collection of shorts on cooking in the wilderness. They're in somewhat of a logical order, so circle back to this one if you haven't seen the earlier shorts yet. In my last video, I introduced you guys to my favorite three season pot, this guy. Today though, we're taking a look at a specialized pot that lends itself well to winter backpacking. Let's jump in. First off, I consider a winter pot to be a nice to have, not a must have. So if you have a gear addiction and a few bucks to burn, well, this may be right up your alley. Otherwise, just stick with my three season pot recommendation. It will work just fine, obviously, year round. Like I've mentioned already in this series, this pot meets my two pot criteria. Number one, it fits into the Gossamer Gear Cozy, and two, there is a caldera cone setup designed for it. It is a pot that goes by the name of The Bot, um, and it is made by a company called Vargo. Vargo makes a bunch of great titanium products, but The Bot is truly unique as it includes a screw-on cap. As you can see, caldera is set up inside. So why the love affair with this pot? Well, a couple of reasons, which again are specific to winter use. If you're ever hiking in crazy cold temps, you can heat up um, uh, hot water before bed, um, pour it in here, tighten it inside the bot, and then put the bot inside a sock or other, wrap it in some other piece of gear or clothing. Then insert it inside your sleeping bag. It will generate noticeable heat for quite some time. We're talking hours. And in the morning, you'll have some not frozen water to cook with already. The alternative is carrying an algae, which can handle boiling water as well, by the way, but that's a significant weight penalty over a smart water bottle. Benefit number two. Um, when it's cold, it's also nice to have hot tea or hot coffee at camp. Uh, the problem with traditional pots is that your drink won't stay hot for very long. The bot is single wall, just like the others, but the screw on cap will keep your beverage hot for much longer. Um, it also stops you from spilling it. Hell, you can stick your uh, beverage in your pocket and save it for later, enjoying it over an hour or two, not minutes like with a traditional pot. It goes a long way in winter having a hot beverage in camp. Um, there is a third benefit worth mentioning as well, though not specific to winter hiking. As you can see, the bot is pretty big. It's a liter. You can therefore use it to carry extra water over a dry stretch, though I've never needed it for such um, a purpose. So it's not just a cooking pot, but also a water container. A small footnote, Vargo makes a smaller um, bot as well. However, due to its handle configuration, uh, which is different than the, this size, which it doesn't have one, um, the smaller one will not work with a caldera cone. Keep that in mind in case that is important to you. So now you have it, my favorite three season pot, the TI Ultralight Deep Pot S by Evernew, and my winter pot, the Bot by, by Vargo. Again, I've included links in my video descriptions to both of these pots as well as the Cozy in case you want to take a closer look. Well, that's all the time I need on this one. Um, I think we covered pots. I hope you're enjoying the cooking series as I still have a couple more shorts for you on the way. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna move on to food storage. Um, in the meantime, please help me grow the show by hitting like and clicking on the Bungsy logo to subscribe, to subscribe, excuse me. It helps me a ton. Thanks and I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking.